So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Samuel Travel and History and here I have my sister Irene Zab. Hi guys, welcome to Samuel's channel. Hey, my friends, we are coming live from the streets of Mombasa, very late. Uh, let me it's, check the time. Yeah. Let me check the time. It's 7, it's 7 o'clock and uh, we are trying to film a nightlife video. 7.27. Yeah. Yes, and, and we are now we are... We are trying to do a video and... Uh, the streets of Mombasa. The streets of Mombasa. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. <laughs> so we are trying to close the road over to the other side. So this is how Mombasa looks like at night, guys. Look what are YouTubers. I d are they YouTubers? I yeah, I think they are YouTubers. So guys, I can see some few YouTubers who are trying also to film at night. Let's see if we can talk to them and say hello because this journey of YouTubing is... So guys, you can see how... Look, Irene Zab is still traveling with her bag. I don't even know where her bag is sleep. She doesn't know where she's <laughs> going to sleep but she's still trying to figure out what is going on. What are YouTubers doing? So guys, woo, look how Mombasa looks at night, man. Rush hour, rush hour, rush hour. Everyone is trying to rush and go home, man. So right now we are at Bigo Road. It's the road that connects Mombasa City or Mombasa Island to uh, the outskirts of Mombasa. That is maybe Nyali or maybe Mikoni or maybe Irindini Amba. So this is how Mombasa looks like at night. So guys, we are just in the streets of Mombasa and by good luck, we have met some few YouTubers who are trying to do some uh, stuff here in Mombasa. You can introduce yourself, man. Yo, my name is Focus. I'm from Focus Bar TV. Yeah, today I'm here. Luckily, we got my brother and my sister here. Yeah. So it's good to meet you guys. Huh? Yeah, just an abrupt meeting, yeah? You so know? randomly and we just met here. Yeah. yeah. So are you from Mombasa? I'm from Mombasa, yeah. Yeah, from Mombasa. Here, yeah. Uh -huh. So so my YouTube channel is all about, we normally focus on hustle, uh -huh. focus on entertainment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's really new because we just started uh, by January. We just started uploading many videos. The channel is a bit old, but by January, that's when we started to be a bit serious. Huh? Okay. So we've been talking so much content there. Uh -huh. yeah. So. Thank God is doing well. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so far, how is the journey? So, how is the journey? The journey, actually, the journey has been good. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's all about putting up your work there. It's all about putting work. There's no magic. With YouTube, we just have to pump up there and everything. So, uh, yeah, a lot of struggles, a lot of pressure sometimes. Yeah, I think the pressure comes up with, with work. With so work, yeah, yeah. It's good because, again, if it's coming up because of work, that's good because that's what you sign for. Once, yeah. you, once you decide you want to do YouTube, you know exactly what, what you So, guys, I'm going to put down uh, his link. Go check him out. And uh, we become a big family, you know? Yeah, for you, for you. Yeah. You from Mombasa? No, 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 I'm not from Mombasa, but I'm currently based here in Mombasa because of work. Yeah, I was from Nairobi and then I was posted in Mombasa. Okay. And now I just have a few months to be in Mombasa and then I go maybe to another country. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice yeah, thank you so much nice for you. your time and... Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm from Nairobi, but I'm here. Okay. So guys, uh, that is Irene Zab. That is Focus TV and we have just met randomly in the street of Mombasa and uh, he's trying to explain to us as to why Mombasa gets deserted after 8 p.m. Maybe people are not uh, in the street of Mombasa compared to Nairobi when it comes to nightlife or the vibrance uh, when it's at night so guys remember to subscribe to his channel that is focus tv and that is irene zap focus bar. Oh, focus bar focus bar sorry 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 guys it's focus bar 
so that is the street of Mombasa at night. It's uh -huh. rush hour. People are trying to go back home. And uh, maybe chill. Maybe because it was uh, on a Monday and there is always Monday blue. So guys, we are still exploring the street of Mombasa and you can see how vibrant it is at night. You see matatus, uh, people walking in the streets, you see. The Simpsons, I think I know the Simpsons. That's a matatu about the Simpsons, you can see. We're just here at a small roundabout and uh, Mombasa Cement uh, co-founder is the one responsible for beautifying the Mombasa city, putting like wild animals, the big five. You will see them as we continue to explore the street of Mombasa. So keep, keep watching, keep liking the video and uh, I'll show you more about Mombasa. That is Irene Zab trying to introduce our channel to Focus TV and we are in Mombasa. Maybe it's normal for Mombasa, but it's not normal for other places. Maybe not. Maybe they want to like this stuff. It's cheaper. I know. It sounds. But but you know. There is that uh, yeah. that aspect, yeah? but uh, we can't totally like put that as a reason. That is Focus TV trying to tell us more about Mombasa compared to Mombasa nightlife or maybe why Mombasa gets deserted at around 8 or maybe people have gone to out of the CBD after 8. So I think that's in the street of Mombasa, I had a uh, privilege to meet a uh, focus bar and uh, it's like uh, you can see from my watch here I, I'm trying to focus it's like almost nine and we are still in the street of Mombasa trying to show you to bring content to you to show you how life is, is in Mombasa at night so that is focus TV focus bar and that is my sister Irene Zab you're trying to close over to the other side uh, to go and show you how life is at night in Mombasa so you can see guys matatus matatus is the means of transport I'm going to show you some amazing matatus that have been uh, some graphics that have been drawn in uh, matatus you can see like that one United States flag see Matatus are just a small minivan that has been uh, turned into public means of transport and they have graffiti, they have music, they have Wi-Fi, you know. And this is the one of the most unique thing about uh, one of the most unique things in Kenya about the Matatu, you know. So guys, uh, that is it. I don't know if you can be able to find a Matatu culture or Matatu graffitis or Matatu vibe in other cities in Africa. But if your country has, you can gonna tell us. You need that one like it has. I don't know. It's Biggie. That one is Biggie. The famous Biggie. You see. So. Another thing that is unique about Mombasa city is uh, it's always like lit at night, you know, lights everywhere, it's, it's like Christmas every time, lights everywhere, lights everywhere, so So this is the nightlife in Mombasa at night 
so guys you can see how the streets are lit at night see so Mombasa is relatively clean I cannot complain about the cleanliness of Mombasa you know I'm waiting for my sister Irene Zab don't know what she's doing there but we move we continue I don't know why, uh, maybe I'll try to ask some people why is it that when it reaches past 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. at night all businesses are closed and people are just rushing to go home. I don't know the reason as to why. I've never understood that. But maybe I can ask someone to explain to me as to why people close businesses as early as possible, you know? Let me try and see if I can get someone who is going to who is willing to tell me more about the closure of businesses as early as possible. So that is Irene Zab. It's almost nine. It's almost nine. It's almost nine. It's almost nine. And we are still creating content in the street of Mombasa. You can see how lit they are. It's night. Look at that, look at that guys. So some businesses are still on. Some of them are still on. And uh, guys you can see how Mombasa looks like at night, you know. Look at those machatis. So, so we are coming from that side. We are heading to this side. You know, for those who don't know Mombasa, Mombasa dates back to 900 AD when there was trade between uh, the outside countries like the like India, uh, Portugal, Oman. When they were trying to do trade in East Africa and uh, Mombasa came to life. Let me show you that Matatu. Wow, that Matatu is dope. So guys, you can comment down and tell me how Mombasa looks like at night, you know? Here the honking of matatus trying to call for passengers to ball them and to take them to their destination, you know. Look at this matatus. This is crazy. I think this is Joker. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is Joker. This is Joker. Nightlife in Mombasa. Wow. Tattoos are crazy here at night. Look at this. These are mini bands that have been decorated with different colors, different artists, different themes to attract as many passengers as possible. You know, it's more about uh, competition. You know, the uh, the more beautiful your matatu is, or the more beautiful your van is. It attracts more customers, and that's how it it's able to generate as much as uh, as much income as possible, you know. And you have to go for many squads because you are having many clients, you know. Wow, Mombasa looks gorgeous at night. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Lights everywhere, scooters. People pushing cocotennial. I don't know cars. No. Tuk tuk everywhere. Tuk tuks are the second. I think the the biggest uh, means of transport in Mombasa. They are quick and uh, convenient. You know, it can take you even at your doorstep. You know. So if you are in Mombasa, try to taking these minivans and also tuk tuks. You know. Oh, 
hotels are still operating you know so guys maybe people don't know Mombasa is a tourist district and uh, every corner of Mombasa you're going to be finding uh, nice hotels amazing street foods you know and again people from Mombasa especially Swahili people and Arab people they are good in food and cooking man so that's why maybe you're gonna have to buy so many hotels so many Italy's you know everyone is trying to please their tourists who are coming to Mombasa by bringing out their kitchen masterpieces so guys we have Naivas supermarket and there is Pizza in, chicken in, and creamy in. For outsiders who think when they come to Kenya they cannot be able to see places like KFC, Pizza in, creamy in. We have multiple of them in each and every corner of the country, you know. Guys, you can see businesses are still on. Some street vendors, hawkers, they are trying to sell their merchandises. See? Beautiful matatus. So guys from a distance you can see those statues. Those are the freedom fighters who fought for the independence. That is a, a small uh, monument that has been built to remind people to show people where we came from who fought for our independence so that you can live with the freedom that you are living with right now you know guys you can see kids coming from karate school you see So guys, right now we are at uh, almost central business area, or Mwembe Tayali, as at it's famously known, you know. There is a mosque here, you know, Mombasa is predominantly Islam county. So, the legend, Momal Gaddafi. This is how people pay tribute to world leaders, so people who impacted the society in greater heights, you see? Muammar Gaddafi, the greatest leader in Libya, if I may say so. So we are here at the roundabout. We are heading to this beautiful, beautiful roundabout here. They need to put Sakaja, do something. Imagine if we have done videos from that side. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if this is the same. You know, the, okay. <laughs> so they, were, they are here, but they are watching from a distance. They are watching from a distance. <laughs> so look at that. Woo, Matatu. Zigla Mare. Zigla Mare. Bob Mare fans of reggae music like I do
so guys we have Naiva supermarket we have uh, NCBA bank we have pharmacy we have pizza in we have creamy in chicken in there is a gym man Mombasa is a beautiful man at night So guys, when you come from Nairobi and you are coming to Mombasa and maybe you decided to take a bus, this is exactly point whereby you are going to be dropped off and uh, you catch the next Matatu or maybe the next tuk tuk to your final destination, you know? Uh, we have been exploring the street of Mombasa, me and my sister here, Irene Zab. And you can say something before we finish this video. So, my good friends. Yes. So Mombasa is so beautiful. Uh, Mombasa is beautiful? Yes, especially at night. Like, uh -huh. But, guys, you can see. We have a lot of cars running around. Yeah, you can see how Mombasa looks like. Yes, if you you can see where we are standing right now. Let me show you. Oh, God. Let's see. So that's where we are right now. Yeah. So if you are not careful, mm -hmm. uh, someone is coming and pass with you. Wait but with uh, you. yes, because it's so busy. Yeah, it's busy at night. You know, it's rush hour and people are trying to run and go home. Yeah, it's almost nine actually. It's almost nine, and we are still in the street creating content for you guys. It's uh, eight forty-seven. Uh -huh. 847 okay, we are still to the house. we need to go home we need to go rest because we have been working almost the whole day yeah. so guys uh, remember to subscribe to our channels yes. remember to support us also recommend to us what else you would do, you want to see from our channels yeah, yeah. i've always wanted to night like from uh, for the longest yeah. time from Mombasa. From Mombasa, but like Thanks to Samuel. Samuel came through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's me. That's me. Yeah. Came through. And we really, I really appreciate Samuel. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, guys, for watching up to this point. Remember to subscribe and see you on the next one. To Samuel. Bye bye. Kwaheri, Kwaheri from Mombasa.